Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'm going to bring you a new app review. This one, Twitter for iPhone. And um, if you don't know, uh, there's a company called Tweety, and they originally made a Tweety app, but then they made a Tweety 2, and they recently um, uh, took it off from the App Store a couple of days ago, and now they have Twitter for iPhone. So, Twitter was working with uh, Tweety. We, uh, if you might have known that, um, there was, it was in the news a little while ago, but uh, I'm just going to show you the app review. This is Twitter for iPhone, made by Twitter.com. And I'm just going to get started right here. Um, you can make numerous accounts, multiple accounts. Um, I have mine already there. Um, but you can add one, and you can do all this. Or you can um, do a custom API route. And that's for, you know, advanced users using their own I APIs. Anyway, uh, you have settings up here. And you can display your username or your real name when viewing all these tweets. Um, the t date format, relative, like seven minutes ago. Um, but uh, you can also do absolute, which is like three. If it was seven minutes ago, it'd be three twelve um, p.m. So got that, and you can do font size up to from thirteen to twenty. Um, there's also different services like image and video URL shortening. J.mp is bit ly, and you can also um, uh, log in with that um, and get your links and link it, link it to your account. There's also Instapaper and uh, different services down here. So right here, API keys. You know, you can do the, um, you can log in right there with a uh, bit.ly URL shortener. Here's some advanced settings. Auto rotate. It rotates both ways in landscape when tweeting, um, but it doesn't go like upside down. You know, um, but here's some stuff. You know, you can set uh, set when it rotates. Um, mobilizer. That's for Instapaper stuff and image quality when you load Twit pics. I'm gonna set it on high. Um, actually, that's when you upload stuff. Um, but I'm gonna set it on high just because uh, hashtags on trends, you know, like um, trending topics, it'll have the little pound sign. And uh, got sound effects and pinstripes. Um, and you can use a bookmarklet for Safari when you want to bookmark stuff on here. There's also a manual for this with uh, tips and tricks, basic stuff, and advanced. Um, so yeah, this is um, a lot like Tweety 2 was. It's very user friendly. I mean, anyone can use it, um, and then also you, uh, advanced users can use it with API stuff. So this is the main screen. You can also edit and delete accounts. So I'm gonna go to mine, and um, it loads up with uh, the everybody, um, and you can search for it. Then your at replies, uh, your messages. You can search for tweets. And you can search for a person or a topic, and it has a nice blog right up here. And it's very cool. You can just swipe and see all the posts. And these are the trending topics right here. You got Google uh, Conference, um, and then they also have suggested users like they do on their website. So these are all the famous people that you should check out um, in categories. So you know, technology. Um, it'll. It's usually about a uh, 20, 20 to 30 people. Kevin Rose, he's the um, pretty sure the Dig creator. Um, got all these. Um, so yeah, if you if you're into tech stuff like tech informers are, um, these are good people to follow. Got Bill Gates. I didn't know he was on Twitter, so you know I've found people on here that I didn't that I didn't know were on Twitter. So it's a good way to find people, I and mean, then Twitter and Google. So um, got suggested users. Um, so as you can see, the official Twitter app. This came out today, and um, here's a, a feature that you can do. See, I have all these unread, but these are all spam, and I don't want to read them. So you can just double tap and mark all as read, and then you don't have to worry about it. Also, when viewing tweets, you can swipe across like the old Tweety. You can reply, retweet, favorite it, view their profile. And you can see, um, you can unfollow. Uh, you can see all their all their followers and who they follow and their tweets and the favorites, uh, their lists that they create of users. And you see all these drop down menus. It's very easy to use. Um, you can see their tweets and do all that stuff. I'm not gonna get in. I'm not gonna view that person's tweets. But let me get back to this. Um, you can also uh, do different settings for them, like if you want to block them. Um, another thing 
is you can view the link that they have and you can also um, quote them which is kind of like retweeting but it's more of a form like style or put it in quotes and then you can write under their tweet and it'll say how many characters you have left out of your 140 you can post their link and copy it to your tweet you can mail it to yourself or someone else or you can tra translate if it's in a different language um, it's not right now so it it has an error um, but you can reply I'm just going to show you the compose place now you can uh, close and you can save it as drafts so you can send and um, this is your keyboard right here very traditional um, then this little swiping thing you can view you can take a picture which I have an iPod touch so I can't do that or you can view your photo library or camera roll you can geotag your tweets so you know say if you're in the Grand Canyon you can say hey I'm in the Grand Canyon and you and people can see that on the Google Maps integration um, you can see all the usernames that are in here um, and you can add more um, or yeah, that's what it does. It uh, you know, if you want to do a follow Friday, you can just put the username and add all of them right there, and you can do a hashtag for different trending topics or you know follow Friday or whatever, and you can shrink the URL with different uh, URL shrinking services. But I don't have a link right there, so I can't do it. So like I said, you got landscape and portrait mode, and you can also rotate it either way except for upside down. Um, and that's pretty much the compose. Um, you know, uh, photo library. You can see all that stuff. So you can close and save it as a draft. I don't want to. Um, so that's viewing tweets. And up here you can pull down or release to refresh. Um, this is uh, this is a pretty good app compared to other uh, Twitter clients, which there is a lot. Um, and as you see, there's a little break here, and that means that's where it reloaded at. Um, also, another feature is if you're in deep navigation. Um, like you go in a person's profile you view their tweets you go into a tweet you know you can swipe across the top and it goes back to your home page so that's nice so it's a it's very very easy instead of hitting the back button like a million times it's easy simple um, well organized um, the user interface is great that's definitely some uh, pros about it there isn't much that I've found that I don't like um, you know Twitter and Tweety um, spent a good time on this and uh, I mean it was Tweety first but I mean they made it um, very user friendly and it loads very quickly so here you can go to your settings and you can view my profile and my favorites and drafts that I might have saved and I can also view my list which is I only really um, have lists for like people that I actually want to see tweets with because um, I have like spammers and stuff anyway um, you can go to your count and settings and settings down here back to where we started um, so let me go back but you can't have the option to um, rearrange the icons at the bottom like other apps but these are pretty much the main ones that you need um, I, I wouldn't really use any other ones except maybe the lists I would put down there because that's the only people I really want to look at their tweets um, you can do a new list and you can view your profile you can even view the pictures of people um, and you can get their address um, and actually uh, create a new contact and like and there's my profile like everyone else's and um, yeah so you can actually edit um, edit your profile information in the app usually you can really never do that but this is integrated with Twitter so they make it happen that's very nice um, so it's just your basic information that you can edit anything that you see up here pretty much um, and you can actually edit your bio too so that is pretty much Tweety you know um, it's all you need for Twitter you know I usually use TweetDig because of the uh, syncing with my desktop and the iPhone and my iPod um, so you know you got your everyone tweets or not well the people you follow um, you got your at replies your messages and you can search for people uh, view trending topics. Um, that's and you know that's pretty much all you need. Um, view your profile and you're good to go. This is a very nice app. Uh, like I said, I can't I can't really find much wrong with it. It's very elegante, as I like to say, very elegant and uh, very user friendly. I've said that like ten times now. Sorry about that, but it is. So this is Twitter for iPhone. Um, this is Tech Informers. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment. Thanks and bye.